all together. How is life selling a queen on a new comer? It sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible, I don't come. I, yeah. can, I can see that. Because <laughs> we are like close home right now. This is amazing. I cannot believe it. It's so you, you know what we're missing? We're missing a lemonade. Oh, we are. Oh, we said ice cube? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you do it'll, that? It'll be, it'll be here in any minute. Like About French style. Yeah. French style. The order is placed. It'll come eventually. <laughs> So far we've made it about 390 miles, or 340 nautical miles, and we're on our way to Cannes. So we're excited because we are having visitors, and they're on their way on another boat. <coughs> Special visitors. Yeah, so um, we're getting a visit by the O'Kellys. Once they came on board, we put Nick and Megan immediately to work. Stefan had to check out the rig and see if we shook anything loose in our crossing. While I made pancakes. So Stefan went up the mast and he's checking everything out to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. And uh, so far, so good. Our first job. Megan, what he's are you doing with my us, husband? He's trusting us with his life. I'm feeling very, <laughs> very nervous. No. <laughs> I'm on the backup line. <laughs> Nick's got the real pressure. Good, thank you, team. Yeah. I mean, uh, when I do it, I usually cry a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we are sailing out of the Saint Tropez area. It is a gorgeous day. Um, it's really light wind, but we're going about five knots. We have our code 65 up, and it's just gorgeous out here. Not much boat traffic really great company and um, yeah it's a good sunscreen kind of a day Uh, 10 knots, flat water, sunny, warm water. Sunscreen good, on. Sunscreen on, good company. Cannot be better than that. Yeah. So it was smooth sailing on the first day. On the second day, we gave the O'Kellys a chance to give the boat a whirl. <laughs> I'm like, what are my hands doing? <laughs> professionals who have headsets but don't use the headset they don't need them look at that quiet no words no words just hand signals I love it <laughs> and we put them to the test by reversing their usual roles so usually Nick is at the wheel Megan is at the, the windlass and now we put them to the test and they're doing flawlessly so this was a nice and quiet anchorage um, not much going on, and uh, the end of the season. Megan at the helm. Wow. I can do this. Five. Much? Uh, fair way. All right. Well done. Awesome job. Thank you guys. Good job, Dan. Does that count towards our, to our school? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, there you, you got go. Our first five minutes. <laughs> there you go, honey. Watch How many it. more? Oh, you're good. Okay. You passed. Alright, thank you. <laughs> we had the best instructors. To watch. <laughs> they definitely looked right at home on this boat. 
and as both friends and fans, it was great to see them on the water again. Yeah, keep coming up. All oh, these sails, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. One of the advantages of taking a break from boat life is you realize how much you miss it. It was great to be among kindred spirits to share our moment getting back on the water again on Owen. We're doing 7-2 foot speed, close hold, pretty tight. It's 9-5, nine, 9 knots of wind. That's pretty damn good. Upwind sailing. It's beautiful. So those are like fun conditions. You have guests aboard and then uh, to trim the sails, play the 3D sheeting. But the boat is like grooving. And the nice thing about it is with light air, seven, eight knots we have, we know we can make some miles in light air. So we don't have a specific destination, but we know we can get there. Um, and of afternoon, have plenty of time to anchor. And so, yeah, it's very relaxing. Another beautiful day and beautiful anchorage. And we made crepes for dinner because after all the kids leave, we get to make new rules. The plan for today is uh, we're just sailing towards the Gulf de la Napoule and that's uh, kind of a big bay and the northeast side is Cannes. We're going to stay on the southwest side called Théoul sur Mer and we have about 9 knots, 10 knots of breeze and we're cruising around those reaching. So that's the plan. One of the things that's interesting about sailing on this boat is how thoroughly childlike my husband becomes and he just starts tinkering and fiddling and fooling around with the sails and the trim and everything else and he turns into busybody what are you doing over there tinkering with everything you should like it so many lines to pull on i love it <laughs> <laughs> Just hang on for yeah. dear life. You doing? I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day. I was looking at these mountains. <laughs> it reminds me of Arizona. Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. Or something. For sure. Sedona a little bit. Yeah. How are you doing? So good. <laughs> You chilling? Yes, I love this. This uh, what do you call it? This seat yeah. is the shiz. I know. It's the shiznit. <laughs> it's so comfortable. It's like a chaise. Yeah. Yeah. Chaise lounge. I can put my legs. And on you have here. a little buddy. I know. Look at this. He's like hanging on for your life. Hi. <laughs> the next day, we picked up Fabian from North Sales and his whole family. We headed to the underwater statues between the two islands just south of Cannes. We are at this really cool anchorage just outside of Cannes and everybody is gearing up for the boat show. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of big boats. And we're gonna take the dinghy out and check out some underwater statues and um, have some lunch. I need the uh, dinghy.
The six statues show split masks, meant to signify the dichotomy of the ocean. On one side, it's strong and resilient, and on the other side, it's also very fragile. The artist wanted to call attention to the impact of human activity. Once everyone was back aboard and fed, we headed back to our overnight anchorage and said goodbye to Fabian and his family. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, good! <laughs> back to the Can Boat Show after being here last year already um, to meet up with some friends and also to get some work done in an interim before our Navage. Can here we come! Yeah! <laughs> In the dinghy, taking the dinghy ride, and I get the wet spot! <laughs> After five days of perfect sailing conditions, it was time to release the O'Kellys so they could get back to their boat search. Also, the technical team was in town, and we really needed to get our AIS fixed. We're actually much. This is actually a really good setup. But this was the original stuff, and in one week we've expanded to. There's coffee, laundry. Well, detergent. coffee. Oh, I mean, coffee. Well, you know, shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> Essential. So you know, we used to travel in a 46 foot catamaran. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all. This is the. Is this everything you own? No. Yeah. So now you're shopping for a 20 foot yes. hobby cats? <laughs> maybe 15, maybe 18 feet. Yeah. yeah. We just boat surf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a difference a year makes! It was just last year at the Can Show that our boat officially got announced, and now we're living on it. Time really flies, which is why it's important to remember that no boat is perfect, but every boat shares the same view. We talk to a lot of people out on the water. There are hilarious stories, tragic stories, and many stories that may have lost a lot of facts over the years, but are told over and over again. One thing is for sure, you can't have a story unless you go out there and make one. What's your story gonna be?